all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice in sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist Schooner while you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Jason Tatum, I like him. He's one of my favorite players to watch in the NBA. He is. Him... I rock with Donovan Mitchell. Not sure about De'Aaron Fox, but I really do like Jason Tatum and Donovan Mitchell. But are they worth 200 million? Let's discuss it. And I'm gonna tell you why after you hit the like button. I need at least 200 likes, man. Y'all gotta hit that like button. Them like the, liking the video is just as important as watching it. Alright, I'm I'm on a mission to get a million subscribers one day. I know it sounds crazy, cause I'm you know I know it sounds crazy, but I want a million subscribers and I ain't gonna get there if y'all don't be liking my video. So y'all go ahead hit that like button. Alright, now that's the end of my commercial. With that being said, Jason Tatum is a beast. Alright, I I personally think the MVP candidate this season is going to be Jason Tatum in the East, and it's going to be my guy Luca in the West. I think those are going to be the two the two dudes battling for MVP. All right, I'm a big Jason Tatum fan. I'm not a big Boston fan. Y'all know I hate Boston. Can't stand Boston. A lot of that's just my New York bias. I'm a Yankee fan. I'm a Giants fan. It's just you know i'm a knicks well my family's a nick fan but whatever i just hate boston can't stand them. but what i will say is this i enjoy watching jason tatum play you know what i'm saying if, if, if the celtics are playing anybody but like the lakers or like luka Doncic, i'm probably gonna like i wouldn't mind seeing them win you know what I'm saying? Because I think Jason Tatum is a beast. I think Jason Tatum has can do anything. I think Jason Tatum is one of those players that he's got the size, man. I'm not saying he could be Kevin Durant, but he he has the potential to be a 30-point scorer and lock down the best player on the other side and on defense. He's that good. Jason Tatum can defend the bet that he could defend your best wing player and give you 30. He can do he he can put up them Kawhi Leonard stat lines and play that Kawhi Leonard defense. He can rebound. He can he can play defense in the paint. He can do it all. My thing with Jason Tatum is does he have that killer instinct? When you give Jason Tatum 195 million dollars, now it's I can't give him no more passes. You see, when Jason Tatum loses a game, for example, right? When you get Jason Tatum. $195 million He can't blow those games to the Heat The Celtics had like a 15 point lead On the Heat Every game in the, in the Eastern Conference Finals I expect Jason Tatum to close those games out He can't disappear My problem with Jason Tatum is too many times In the fourth quarters In the playoff games He would disappear Jason Tatum has to put his, his stamp on the game now During the regular season the second half of the regular season, we really saw Jason Tatum emerge. Before the pandemic hit, Jason Tatum was getting you like 25, 20, 30, 25, 30 points a game. He went head to head with LeBron. He took out Kawhi Leonard in overtime. He was getting busy. And, and now that he's getting $195 million, he has to do that every night, night in, night out. He has to do that. There, there can't be no more off nights and you just getting 20 points. He has to get 20, like 27 and 8 and 5 every night and play defense every night. You can't take no breaks. That $195 million contract, that's that, that's that James Harden money right there. That's that LeBron money right there. That's that KD money right there. So you got to play like those dudes. Now, when it comes to Donovan Mitchell, he's already doing that. You know, shout out to Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell... I think he's the one who there's no doubt in my mind should have got that bag. Without a shadow of a doubt, Donovan Mitchell deserves that bag. 
You feel me? Without a shadow of a doubt. So I watched this dude drop 50 in playoff games. <laughs> I watched him beat Russell Westbrook in a playoff series. I've seen Donovan Mitchell carry this team, and he's the only offensive threat. At least Jason Tatum got freaking uh, Jalen and, and Marcus and Kemba. You know what I'm saying? At least he has help. My man out there ain't got nothing but Joe Ingles and a corpse of Mike Conley, because we all know Rudy Gobert ain't scoring. So, you know, Donovan Mitchell may have deserved more than what he got, to be honest with you. He probably should have got a $250 million contract. But I think you got to be like first team all NBA to get that. That's that James Harden, Russell Westbrook. That's that elite tier. You know what I'm saying? That's that Giannis money. Because I think Giannis money can get Giannis can get five for 250 or something like that. When you're like first team all NBA or if you win an MVP, I think the NBA, the NBA salaries are structured based on performance. And I actually think that's smart on the NBA part. This way you can't have, you're not going to have bums out here getting OD money. But, you know, guys like De'Aaron Fox, he ain't worth $163 million. He ain't even been to a playoff yet. Bam out of Bayou, he had one good year. I'm not sure Bam out of Bayou's worth. They basically gave Bam out of Bayou $195 million because they gave him $165 million. But there's incentive, there's performance incentives in there that can put him at $195 million. So Bam out of Bayou basically got the same contract as Tatum and Donovan Mitchell. Now, Ben Simmons last offseason got this bag too. He got $178. I'm not sure Ben Simmons. That's an interesting one because I'm not sure. Mm. I'd have to see Ben Simmons on his own team to see if he's worth it or not. Like, I can't tell. It's so strange with Ben Simmons because he doesn't score, but he does everything else at an elite level. So it's strange with him. But, you know, there's a lot of young cats in the league. We all know Luka's the best one. All right? Out of all these young kids in the league in their first four or five seasons, it's Luka. Luka's the guy. All right, Luka's the best. I'd probably go Donovan Mitchell will probably be second. Then I'd probably take Tatum. But I think Tatum has the potential to be like an MVP. I don't think Donovan Mitchell is going to be an MVP. Because Donovan Mitchell, he's just a scorer. He's not, you know, he's just a scorer. But when it comes to Tatum, Tatum has, Tatum has that elite potential. Now, ain't nobody going to stop Luka Doncic. I don't think there's anybody on the planet that's going to stop Luka Doncic from winning that MVP. But, you know, I'm happy for Tatum. He's the only Celtic that I like. Well, no, I kind of like, li like Marcus Smart. I kind of like Marcus Smart. But, yeah, man, it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see Jason Tatum go heads up with Giannis, heads up with KD. Heads up with Jimmy Butler again Because there's some goons in the East, man East ain't soft But anyway, that's it, that's all Subscribe to the unit And hit the damn like button If you rockin' with me My name is Fist Vegas And I approve this message